Well, hello, hello, hello. <clears throat> Jiminy Crickets. Um, it's me again. I think I'm going to change my name from Lady Sandy B. Barker to Sandy E. It's easier, simple. Anyways. I was looking on my YouTube channel and I see I don't have many subscribers. I really don't promote it. Um, if I did, I probably have more. But in order to promote, probably need a little bit of money, which I don't have yet. <laughs> um, I noticed that the one that got the most views was one of the gospel songs I wrote called Only God Knows. Um, then I was... My dad passed away, my mom's passed away, my oldest sister passed away, my brother Virgil passed away. My nephew passed away, two of them. <laughs> and these are people very special to me. Had them on my mind lately. And so I always remember mommy telling me her favorite song that I wrote was called Daniel in the Lion's Den. I might have that on YouTube, I don't know. Um... Anyways, I was I thought I'd just put that out there again because I just had them on my mind. I don't even know if I can remember the whole song without getting my books out and reading and see where it was written down at. <laughs> I've been trying to get my journals together and get the songs of poems out there so I can print a book of poems. And then, you know, if I have, well, who knows, if I made money on the book of poems, I might even record another gospel album with music. I mean, I recorded one without music in North Carolina at a recording studio down there because I wanted to honor my parents. And that guy was trying to put music to my song, and he changed the way he mixed it at one point. It aggravates the crap out of me when they do that, you know. So um, I wasn't happy about that. I went to Gant Man Kushner over there in Maryland. He does a really good job. He did a song for me, and I was disappointed with that one. He's an honorable man, though. He refunded my money thing of it is with mixing music see I studied that too I got a, I have a diploma in sound engineering so I know that when you mix some music if you speed a song up that ain't supposed to be that that fast at that point in a song because songs will go up and down they go fast and slow and if you mix some music and the song is a little faster at this point and they slow it down at that point instead of speeding it up, or vice versa, it, it really messes up the freaking song. That's what it does. <laughs> now, with music, you can take and you can cover up those mess-ups, but if you sing an acapella and stuff, and they they me, me, me mess it up, it really messes it up. So I would really love to have my own recording studio, which my mom said I could build one down in the mountains where we live, where I grew up, and I've got that as my corporate office, my state office before we folded. So I don't know. Maybe my, my sister Loma now, she likes my singing. Um, she might go in with me. I don't know. I have to talk to her, I suppose. But sometimes, you know, she likes to control everything. And sometimes when it comes to music and you don't really have it in you. And, and I mean, you know, you have it in you. You either have it in you or you don't with music or writing or creativity. And I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. Trust me, I'm not that creative except for this one gift that I really didn't want. <laughs> I mean, I, I it... it I love to sing. It's just frustrating when it ain't right, you know? And sometimes when I'm working on a song and I've got this much of it and then I just can't get the rest of it, it's very frustrating. So you sit there with a song half written for like six months and then you go in and you work on it again and then you go in and so on and so forth. So I have a lot of songs out there that's just like, I ain't finished yet. <laughs> and if I had a studio... And money to pay some musicians who would play what I wanted them to play and do what I wanted to done. But I don't know how to tell them that because I never studied music. So I don't say, hey, neat, change that chord of G down to a chord of E. Or change that G into a G minor or whatever. I learned a few chords when I was working with, with Gantman. He 
He said, you never, you don't know what a note is. I said, no, <laughs> what's a note? <laughs> he goes, Sandy, I, he told me, he said, I do better performing live. So maybe I could do some live shows and record them like Elvis Presley did <laughs> on the videos. Now it'll go pretty good, I reckon, since I throw my hat around. Although now with COVID going out, I don't know if people would like throwing the hat around so much. Although when I go and dance at certain places, they tell me to. So when they go like this, it means a hat in the air, Sandy. <laughs> Anyways, back to the song. Daniel was my mom's grandfather, and he was a colonel in the Union Army. And I guess he died in that war, and her other great-grandfather um, died in that war as well. And they were opposite sides and it tore families apart and she, would, she when I came up with Daniel and the Lions then she just fell in love with that song and she'd get me in stores and there was a store lady's name was Sophie and she had a store down in Hurley Virginia and she would deliver food to mom god bless her little pea picking heart uh, I don't know where she ended up but she moved sold the store out and moved I guess she got tired of Hurley. <laughs> it could be pretty rough down there sometimes. If you don't know the right people, and unfortunately I moved away, so I don't know the right people. <laughs> I'm related probably to the right people, but they don't know me. And I don't know them. So, Daniel and Lions, then Mommy would love that song. And she'd have me sing it. And then when I was dad, my dad, my daddy was a preacher and he played bluegrass music. He was playing music one day and I was helping him sing. I started singing bluegrass, you know. He goes, I didn't know you could sing bluegrass. I thought all you could sing was that other kind of music. I go, well, Daddy, you never asked me. You just didn't know. I sing everything. Well, see, those bluegrass music came out of those gospel, those old regular Baptist books and those old red back of books were taken from them basically the music came from the black people Irish slaves and black slaves who got together as slaves and made music and that's what they did and that's how it came to be they mixed a little of the Irish with a little of the black soul blues and it blended in pretty good for some musicians but then you know I guess the bluegrass some people don't really, well, let's just say there's a lot of negativity sometimes in the bluegrass industry <laughs> that I didn't approve of, so, or, I don't know, I just want people to get along, you know. I don't mind if you own guns, I just don't like shooting people with them. Don't like that at all. Daniel and the lines, then that's what I was supposed to be talking about, wasn't it? Shame on me, getting carried away like this. Fetal steak, shuckums. <laughs> Got a lot of missing teeth, so when I sing, it goes sss, sss. Guess she can make some music like that, though. Different sounds. Sss, 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 sss. Like, a, like a bird. Well, I ain't gonna do no bird sounds with this song. I'm just gonna sing it. No, I don't know if I remember it, but I will. Let's see if I do. Then you was a mighty man, and he spoke nothing but truth. And this took them free from sin and gave the world a boost. But the king, he didn't like Daniel cause he could prophesy. So he threw him into a den of lions, hoping he would die, but he prayed, Whoa! My Lord, the power is in thee. Whoa, my Lord, my faith will set me free. Whoa, my Lord, this world is killing me. And that's the last part of the song. And I don't know what I'm going to do after take control and go back to the original part. And blend it down into my heart. Daniel was a mighty man and he spoke nothing but truth. This kept him free from sin and gave the world a boost. 
But the king, he didn't like that, no cause he could prophesy. So he threw him into a den of lions, hoping he would die, but he prayed, Whoa, my lord, power is in thee. Whoa, my lord, my faith will set me free. Whoa, my lord, close the lion's mouth. Whoa, my lord, all of you can help me out. Now the king just walked away with a smile upon his face. He just knew that Daniel would die, but he didn't know of God's grace. So the next morning when he rose and he looked into the den, the lions were purring like kitten, and Daniel was a petting them, and they sang, Whoa, my lord, the power is in thee. Whoa, my lord, my faith set me free. Whoa, my lord, you close the lion's mouth. Whoa, my lord, all of you can help me out. Daniel prayed, but I sing. Oh, my lord, take a look at me. Oh, my Lord, my faith will set me free. Whoa, my Lord, this world is killing me. Whoa, my Lord, only you can set me free. My faith will set me free. Only you can set me free. I guess it's a new version of Daniel and Lion's Den. I'll have to record it and write it down later because I don't even know what I sang in the middle there. And that's the way the songs are. I started singing and the words come out and I'm going, what the heck was my singing? What does this even mean? And, and then I read them and I go, hmm, quite a message in some of them. And basically, you know, there's got different religions and mine's right and yours well you know i don't i disagree with that some people the hundred forty four thousand that's my church no i don't believe that either i believe the hundred forty four thousand everybody keeps talking about in the bible is the good souls in all the churches you know the ones who care about other people might want to wear a mask <laughs> um the ones who care about other people and they would give even if they didn't have, they would give and help someone. And I've known people like that. And then I've known people with who could have helped more. And it, it's the way the world is, you know. So I hope and pray that I'd be the one, you know, and go out and go out of my way to help somebody. That's how, what I hope and pray I would be. And yeah, I'm kind of dressed kind of crazy. It's just like my lounging around clothes at the house, you know. I ain't going nowhere. Might go somewhere this Friday. Being kind of staying home, you know. Running into some negativity here and there. And I said, oh, okay, I can deal with this for a little while. And then I have to take a break and go home. And after I go out and dance for a long time, I have to take a break and stay home for about two weeks and try to get my body back into shape where I can go out and do some more exercise. That's the secret to life. Good intentions, I think, anyway. Good intentions, good feelings, good food, good people, good family. Family is important. And I love my family. Even the ones I don't get along with sometimes. The ones that want to choke me to death sometimes. The ones that want to just hop and hit the crap out of me. Because what I'm saying maybe might be speaking something they don't want to face. <laughs> something may have happened to them. That something happened to me. And that reminded them something happened to them. Since I talk, they don't. <laughs> well, anyways. Prayers. Peace, love, harmony to all. And to all you first responders, doctors, lawyers, not lawyers, <laughs> y'all need help. <laughs> or you want some money, 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 money. Anyways, to 
for all you doctors and nurses, staff of the hospitals, teachers, oh my God, you poor things. Mm-mm-mm. I pray for y'all every day, I swear I do. I mean, teachers, in my opinion, I guess teachers are like most important. Because even when the children are young, if the teachers don't teach them the proper things, you know, so having a good teacher in a good school is very important. Um, private schools, mm, I think public schools, they ought to be free. People ought to be able to get educated free, you know. Libraries, I love libraries. I used to go to a lot of libraries. I don't have a library card here because now you can just go online, go on YouTube and read what, read all kinds of stuff, you know. So libraries are, but I love libraries and books. I do. I had a whole bunch of books and my people went down there. Didn't want me in the house where I grew up and all my books gone. <laughs> of course, they took the, um, they were thrown in the floor and burnt my clothes. Some turpentine and all my clothes. It's crazy. You know, stupid, crazy, childish, stupid stuff. <laughs> Immature. Stupid stuff, you know, cowardly people is what it is. They ain't never went nowhere in life, don't want to go nowhere in life, and they just drink themselves to death and drug themselves to death, and that's all they want. I don't want that, and I'm glad my children didn't want that, so they're doing better than that, thank God. <laughs> so they've done better than what I could do, that's for sure. Proud of them, very, very proud of them. Proud of my grandchildren, they're doing pretty well. Although, you know, I don't know how they all turn out. I don't. I mean, I don't. All I can do is hope and pray. And that's what I do, hope and pray. Anyways, to y'all, peace, love, harmony, I'm off here.